I do want to remind people that one of our longtime advertisers, oh, just my, my, my camera just bailed on me here. You know, some people actually do catch up with the program on YouTube. Some of the things you're going to see on YouTube, you're going to scratch your head and say, is that actually what really happens during the course of a radio show? No, it's it just happens to me. That's all. 924, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and NewsRadio1310.com. One of the one of the advertisers who has been with this program since really not long after I started, Tint Lady. And uh, because of that, I'm very grateful to all of these people who uh, who uh, who advertise on KLIX as well. And and uh, these are these are people who are the backbone local businesses of our community. Tint Lady has a new address. In fact, a much more visible address. They're at the uh, the corner there at Filer Avenue in Washington, 127 Filer Avenue. And we've been telling you, warmer weather is on the way, and you may be thinking window tints because they can cut down on that heat coming through on those really hot days by almost three quarters. And you can get a free estimate. All you've got to do is actually call and set that up. Call or go online, we should point out, online at tintladyidaho.com. Telephone number, though, for those of you who still like that personal contact by telephone, 736-8469. This is a business, not quarter century in this area, locally owned and operated, They are open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday by appointment only. And then, like I like to say, a lot like Chick-fil-A on Sundays, closed. And remember, don't squint, get tint. We were talking a little earlier in the program about some of the reasons people are are upset and they are angry. Uh, Don Hall mentioned to me during the 9 o'clock newscast, we were not on the air yet, he said, you know what a lot of it is this year? People are getting their tax bills. There's There's some truth to that. Now, I have not sat down and done my taxes for 2015. I have to do that in the next couple of weeks. Even thought for the change for the first time in my life, trying TurboTax. Uh, although if you were with us uh, just after 8 o'clock news, you know that the computer is not always my friend. So I may go back to my usual preparer this year and have some work done that way. But there there are so many things that people just seem to be in this country upset about. And I got to tell you, I remember being at a Tea Party rally all the way back in about 2011. And a guy walked up to me, 2010 or 2011, we were outside our state capitol at the time, and I had just come off the stage introducing a guest. And he was telling me a story, and he said, you know, I keep turning on to the television hearing that we're just very angry people. But he said, we're angry for all the right reasons. And I'll just share with you some of those reasons that I think people, we talked about this, I think, yesterday too as well just ticked off a number of things that people, it doesn't matter. You can be a social conservative. There's a lot to be angry about. You can be just an economic conservative. There's a lot to be angry about. You can be a a, a trade unionist and you can vote Democrat all your life. And you may have a lot to be angry about when it comes to trade agreements and the loss of jobs and the disappearance of factories and the like. But we also told you last week that this country now has gone through a 10-year period without economic growth. The GDP growth has been below 3% for 10 years. This is unheard of in the United States of America. Unheard of. And this comes today from the Washington Free Beacon. Federal Reserve official forecasts weak GDP growth. A Federal Reserve official forecasted, they they parroted the headline here, lower GDP growth for 2016 than levels seen during the already weak post-recession expansion. I expect real GDP growth of about 2% in 2016, slightly below the average pace of growth in this expansion. So this year won't even be as good is all of the years between 2008 and 2016. That from William Dudley. He is the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He said that in his remarks at a symposium in China, of all places, on Monday. Figure that one out. 736-0300, 736-0300. We have a caller with us. You're on air with Bill Colley on Top Story. Hey, I, I think one of the reasons a lot of people are getting angry, pissed off, is because... You look at all these people around us that are saying, hey, let's tax and just spend and spend. What kind of debt are we leaving for our children? What kind of moral people make it so that their children have to pay their bill? We, I was talking to a coworker telling me how great it is if we raise all these benefits and do all these things, and I'm like, who's paying for it? We've got our grandchildren that are going to have to pay off the crap that we're doing right now. What kind of moral just people are we they're sitting there crying about equality what are we doing for our children and our grandchildren our great-grandchildren they're gonna have to pay for all this crap because nobody's willing to step up and do what's right morally right 
and provide for themselves and try to do these things. That, I think, for the majority of Tea Party people, majority of conservative people, that's what they're really, really pissed off about. Well, and I think you, 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 you've you nailed that one because I th- thank you for the call. I think what's happened is we don't recall what it was like to live. My, my parents coming up through the Depression and World War II, you know, they learned to live without, but they still thought it was a great country and great opportunity. And thank you for the call. Uh, but we have all been, I mean, we grew up, those of us who grew up in the 1960s and 70s, really grew up in very cushy lifestyles. And we have, so many people have these uh, this sense of entitlement or expectation. There was a writer by the name of Holman W. Jenkins Jr. writing at the, uh, the Wall Street Journal today. And he says, the American voter has had a big hand in his own disappointments. His retirement system has been a conspicuous demographic Ponzi scheme for at least two generations, yet he keeps voting for unfunded benefits. The Obama White House complains in its latest economic report about declining state and local investment because all the money is going to the unfunded pension promises negotiated by public sector workers without also negotiating the taxes to make good on them. So in other words, we keep buying all of the promises they can't keep and we keep thinking that, you know, there's always going to be water coming out of that well. No pun intended, considering our previous discussion. More on this coming up in just a few minutes on KLIX. I was thinking uh, about our last caller, and, and we really are in this country, in some respects, the victims of our own success. I want to get to that thought in just a moment. He, he tripped something in my head when he was when he was talking to us about why people are upset, and, and you know, I think he was spot on about the fact that we can't just blame everybody else all the time. you got to look in the mirror sometimes. In the meantime, looking in the mirror means you've got good eyesight, right? But sometimes you have to be worried about your hearing. I do that all the time because I need to hear these callers. And that's why I remind other people, too, to have their hearing checked. You can do that by giving a telephone call to Dr. Christine Pickup, a doctor of audiology. She's at Mount Harrison Audiology in Rupert. That's at 1218 9th Street. That's in the medical building there, unit number two. And you can reach her at 208-312-0957 or online at mountharrisonaudiology.com. And she'd like to remind you, the doctor would, that hearing and diabetes are linked. And uh, hearing loss, that is. If you or a loved one struggles with diabetes control, it could also be affecting your hearing. The inner ear is incredibly sensitive to changes in your blood supply. And remember, high blood sugars can cause hearing changes. Be sure to have your hearing screened today. So I was thinking about what the caller's comments were. And uh, and yes, we have had people take our jobs away from us and uh, move them overseas. And there are a lot of deals that were done. And we were told it would be good for us when it was really only going to be good for a few Uh, Free trade is a great thing if it's fair trade, but it isn't always fair. We've talked about all of this. But here's the thing. I just happened to see a a, – I got a notification. My home county of Allegheny County, New York, there's a picture page on my Facebook page, and I got a notification about that. There was a time when you were growing up in this country, before I was born anyway, when you didn't live far away from your family and your friends, and many times generations stayed in the same house. Call it the Waltons effect. You know, you had the grandparents and you had the son and his wife and all of their children all under the same roof. And during hard times, they were all leaning on each other. And as I sat here, I thought, hmm, my home county is 2,300 miles east of here. And that's because in the modern economy, I am forced to essentially pack up and move. I'm a vagabond. I have to go where the work is in my chosen profession. And, and until modern technology came along, I mean, I could go back there and do it if I chose to, uh, but that would require somebody to sign off on it as an employer. And the decision might be made that, you know, if we want a local talk show host, we'll have someone local and not someone 2,300 miles away. But we don't have those support networks anymore. We are all just free agents now trying to get through all of this. And, uh, And unfortunately, we help break our own bonds with what we had before. And You could have gotten by in the old days, pre-Social Security, uh, pre-big government, pre-all of these other programs uh, with that family support network, but it's just, it's not there any longer for the most part. 936, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. And we have a caller with us. You're up next. You're on the air. I hear why you people are mad. And this is, this is what infuriates me. So you're mad too. uh, Ah, okay. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Infuriates me because you just are saying, oh, this is not who's paying for the tax breaks that we're giving to the rich. Oh, that's right, the little people. That's why we got we got to cut programs because they're not paying their their fair share, and we're giving them 
like take for example the oil companies aren't they getting aren't they getting welfare from uh, subsidies yes they are and who's saying anything about that nobody of course so, they provide you know, most of the jobs but go ahead yeah or what jobs right here what are they trying to do? Trying to keep it at 725? When there was a person, I, I, I not recall his name, but he said every um, every employer should be able to get a vacation, should be able to uh, pay, put money for his uh, for college for his kids, and pay for his home. That ain't happening at 725. So let, let's get that straight, people. Who's paying for the for the tax breaks? We and, are the little people. I think that same. Thank you for the call. I think that same politician said beer should be free, uh, and and uh, you know uh, if you want to go down to the Mustang Ranch, did they close that? They probably did. If you want to go down there to the Mustang Ranch, that should be free too. <clears throat> and uh, and golly, if you need groceries, uh, you can just go down, and they should be free as well. There's a lot of politicians out there saying, you know, we should. If you want to go to college, you should be able to do it. Well, okay. If I want to fly, I should be able to flap my arms and leap off the bridge, the Perrine Bridge, and do that too, right? But you know what? I can't. It violates the laws of nature. You're up next. You're on the air with Bill Colley on Top Story. I just love your drive-by guy. It's just <laughs> talk about infuriating. <laughs> the little guy is paying the tab. Buddy, go out and do your research. The little guy doesn't pay taxes. So... <laughs> If the big guys do pay taxes and they get breaks, yes, but trust me, they pay way more than you could ever make in a lifetime. As a percentage, oh. the only people who really pay are the people in the middle. Right. Yes. Yeah. He keeps saying it, it, it's hurting the little guy. This is the left's way of trying to brainwash you into thinking that something's happening. The little guy doesn't pay taxes. In fact, a lot of people that pay taxes at work that don't make a lot of money end up getting more back in tax returns than they paid out. So let's get some stuff straight. I thank you very much for the telephone call. We've got a short break coming up. More of the Bill Colley Show on Top Story. Or the Top Story Show with Bill Colley. Take your pick. On News Radio 1310 KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. Coming up in just a few minutes, it's 940. We've got 47. Uh, speaking about things to be angry about, if I get a chance, I want to share with you some comments from... Franklin Graham, truly a great American, siding with Roman Catholics. That's unusual among Southern Baptists, but siding with Roman Catholics in an issue about the Girl Scouts. And we'll talk about that coming up if we get the chance. Or otherwise, just listen to your telephone calls. Take your pick.